Hello. Today's review will focus on one aircraft project. Let's call it the MiG-50. Looks pretty unusual and what can I say, beautiful. It's not a fighter, as many have already realized. The maneuverability of such a machine is low, the area of the rudders are small, but the airspeed is 5,000 km per hour. However, at high altitudes, where the maneuverability even further reduced. Generally it is customary to say that the future bomber, it is a flying wing. It is economical and stealth. About stealth technology, when finally, it comes to all that to hide a big bomber from radar is useless. Radar of modern complex of air defense finds a barrican with a hundred kilometers. And even a bird only from a closer distance. I don't think that the plane may be the same stealth as a bird, however, the primitive radar systems are not so powerful and possibilities of such systems are more modest. And missiles of such systems are not always able to get high-speed aircraft. Against helicopters and attack aircraft such air defense systems will fit, but against, such as Tu-160, coming at the height of 15 km, supersonic speed, they will not get. So the Tu-160 does not need stealth technology. Or it is more to say that this technology is useless for such aircraft. Because the defense that finds a beer can from a distance of a hundred miles will detect it even with stealth tuning, as, however, the plane B-1. Well, state will build the plane a flying wing. What would it be capable of? To fly beautifully an escort of F-16, F-18 or F-22 that will catch it up and fly nearby? So what? Though of course it would be better to build aircraft instead of all these grumbling stadiums. Do you know that this sports squandering is traditional Putin's fun? But what about the aircraft presented here? Its characteristics make it unattainable for a number of air defense systems. Well, if only not to fly low. I heard about this tactic named topography diffraction. But while here to do such air show, the rear part can be attached by well-known MiG-31 or Su-27. In general presented aircraft has supersonic cruising speed of 2,000 km per hour at an altitude of 12,000 meters, well, it's not as fast and this mode can be economical. As you use to measure it is approximately 1,200 knots at 35,000 feet altitude. And to gain speed, it is necessary to gradually increasing altitude to 20,000 meters and so increase airspeed of up to 5,000 km per hour and in this mode to rush to the target. Well, or slip by to the side, launching the missiles that will go sideways directions. The plane therefore will bypass defended target area. If it is a carrier battle group, flying fighter jets are unable to catch up MiG-50, as their missiles. But there are some tricks with the launch of missiles from the MiG-50. For example, at the height of 20 km and a speed of 5,000 km per hour, the missile launch can be difficult, as opening of the weapons bay. Although sashes had to have a significant thickening and work as an aerodynamic planes, about the launch, it's necessary to reduce speed or increase altitude, well, approximately to 40,000 meters. It is about 150,000 feet altitude. Then we can zip over the group of all these F-16 or F-22. Neither they nor their missiles can't reach the aircraft. And the MiG-50 can also carry air-to-air -air missiles, and not like missiles that are carried on a fighter, but missiles with characteristics similar to those that are in complexes S-300. Imagine that? Yes, everybody needs to scatter when a plane is approaching. All this despite the fact that the weapons may not be nuclear. Well, when flying a flight of these aircraft, the enemy aircraft will bend sweep fucking away. This is S-300 which fly, an enemy almost unable get it. Such aircraft is difficult to classify to any generation, as now it is accepted.